What caused Adam and Eve's choice to sin? What caused Satan's choice to rebel? You can either put all that blame onto God, or you can actually affirm what most Christians throughout human history have affirmed, is that people have a free will. Um, SJ, thank you for your super chat. Dr. Flowers, I have been so blessed by it. The Calvinist rebuttal. What makes you so special from your neighbor who rejects the gospel? Are you claiming spiritual superior, superiority over non-believers? What say you? Um, I have an article about that um, at Sociology 101. If you were to type in the Calvinist most popular argument, <laughs> this is it. Um, and in fact, it's in my book, in the, the appendix of my book, uh, The Potter's Promise, because it is the most popular question. Um, you must think you're better. Uh, and this is one of the reasons I'll put back, push back on Calvinist. You know, if I don't have much time with them, I'll just say, well, do you think you're better because you're a Calvinist? After all, you believe Calvinism is true, don't you, Calvinist? And the Calvinist will say, yeah, I believe Calvinism is true. Well, you believe in Calvinism and I don't. And, and I'll even use maybe somebody else. C.S. Lewis was a believer. A.W. Tozer was a believer. Um, they never became Calvinists. So are you a better person than they are? Are you smarter? Are you more insightful? I'll never want to admit that, of course. And so what they ultimately have to admit is that God somehow decreed and caused them to become a Calvinist, therefore making them a higher form of Christian, some kind of a better form of Christian, because God elected them to believe more right doctrines than their other regenerate counterpart, another child of God, who apparently he didn't elect to be a Calvinist. And, and then Calvinists have to deal with that quandary, and they're ultimately making the same error. Um, it, listen, what is ironic about that accusation? You must think you're better. The Calvinist is the only one who really thinks they're better when you think about it. Why? Well, because they believe regeneration precedes faith. So in order for to, one to believe, they have to be what? Made into a better person, ontologically changed into a better person. So the elect person is regenerated by God's effectual grace. I'm not saying they earn or deserve that on Calvinism. They don't. They just, God, God just gives them new heart, makes them into a better person. So now, at that point, at that moment, they're regenerated. They're standing beside their their, their neighbor who's not elect, okay? They're, they're a reprobate. And they haven't been regenerated. And this one comes to faith. Why? Because they have been made into a better person. They are now a regenerate person. So they are better. On our view, we don't believe that. We believe both of them are on an equal playing field, so to speak. They're both created in the image of God. They both have a conscience. They both have the ability to make decisions, either for or against the revelation that's been given to them. And so, therefore, they are culpable for that decision. Now, what is the cause of why one chooses and one doesn't? You're question begging if you're assuming that there's a cause outside themselves. And that's what the Calvinist is ultimately doing. They're begging the question by assuming that something besides themselves, the individual, is the cause of their choice. And that's the whole point. The cause of a choice is the chooser. The cause of an action is the actor. The cause of determination is the determiner. We just believe God has given us the power of self-determination. We have the ability, by God's grace and his design, to make our own determinations. And so what caused my determination to accept Christ? I did. What caused Joe Heathen's determination to reject Christ? He did. That's why he's culpable for it. What caused Adam and Eve's choice to sin? What caused Satan's choice to rebel? You can either put all that blame onto God, or you can actually affirm what most Christians throughout human history have affirmed is that people have a free will. People have the ability to make choices, real choices, accountable choices, and they're not making choices that ultimately God controls, and therefore they are accountable for their choices. So that, that's my answer. You can't beg the question by assuming that a deterministic answer is required. Um, that's what free will is all about, is that the, the agent is responsible for his own determinations, not God.